This device is inspired by this invention of a quantum microscope, which enables us to achieve what can only be seen in science fiction, like the tricorder in Star Trek and the, uh, and the sonic screwdriver in Doctor Who. We could now imagine actually using a handheld device to do a full chemical decomposition of something we see in the real world. This builds on great advances in nanotechnology. So we're actually going to take a piece of diamond and create a nanostructure in that diamond with atomic scale defects embedded within that nanostructure. And that combination of these atomic-like defects with this nanotype structure enables us to achieve these feats. The first thing we did was actually the opposite of nanoscience. So we got a, um, a big diamond and I got a pneumatic press and I put a literal tonne of force to measure the mechanical susceptibility of our defects. So we were, had this big, big equipment, big lasers, big amounts of power, and we were doing this really brute force stuff to sort of characterise how it works. I was in severe heart damage, signs of congestion in both lungs, evidence of massive circulatory collapse. Well, what this does is it takes two powerful instruments, an MRI machine and a uh, mass spectrometer, and it puts it on one chip. And what that does, it removes the barrier to access. Now we can mass produce these things, we can distribute it to many hospitals, many laboratories, and people can utilize these much more readily, solve scientific problems, solve medical problems much more quickly and cheaply. You're fine. What excites me about this is not only can we produce devices which can help people, and that solve real world problems, but it utilizes this idea of quantum technology that we're now harnessing the very fundamental nature of the universe to create devices and to solve problems. A serious face. <laughs> We're telling him about your Dalek upstairs. Yeah. Are you a Star Trek fan? Doctor. <laughs> <laughs>